What's up everybody, back for another beer review and today is Sunday, October 7th of 2018 and today marks the end of the official Oktoberfest celebration in Munich, Germany so I thought it'd be fitting to bring the Oktoberfest reviews to a close on my channel today with a German Oktoberfest. Yeah, I've only reviewed uh, two of them from Polliner, so I thought we'd do one more and we close out the Oktoberfest celebration with a beer from the Eyinger Brewery, and they're out of Eyinger, Germany, and this is their Oktoberfest Märzen. So this is an authentic Bavarian festival lager, comes in at 5.8% alcohol by volume and 21 IBUs, and time of review, this beer is just over four months old. It's unfortunate this was uh, bottled in the middle of May, like May 15th, according to this uh, bottled on date, which, yeah, 135th day of 2018. But you know what? Sometimes we don't get these uh, German Oktoberfests all that fresh. I've had this about four or five months old before, and it's fine, so we should be okay. It says, amber-colored, rich, full-bodied. Eyinger at the foot of the Bavarian Alps is one of the world's most respected breweries, family owned and operated since 1878. So yeah, I've had quite a few beers from them and thoroughly enjoy what Eyinger does. Um, I've had this beer probably three or four times before as well. And as far as the Oktoberfest style goes, and Meritzen specifically, one of my favorite within the style. Now, um, I haven't had this in a couple years, so we'll see how it is. It's also, you know, a little over four months old. I'm hoping that it held up uh, pretty well. I guess we'll see. Um, like I said, this is one of my favorite Oktoberfest beers, probably in the top three for me. And you know what? I've reviewed 10... 10 Oktoberfests over the last three weeks. This will be the 11th and final. And I've come to appreciate the style a bit more uh, for sure. And I even like uh, probably three or four of the ones I reviewed quite a bit. Probably will re repurchase them. But I haven't done a lot of uh, German ones. I just did the Polliner and this one. So next year, I'm definitely going to focus more on the uh, German ones because, you know, authentic and whatnot. Anyway, let's crack this open, get it into a glass, see what we got going on. So Eric Gilbert... No Stein, buddy. No Stein here. We just got this oversized wine glass from the Woodcock Brothers, but you know what? You'll live. It'll be all right. Settle down, buddy. Let's give it a pour. Oh, did a drop of beer spill on the table? It did. Whatever will we do? So this is actually a bit lighter than most of the uh, Oktoberfest merits that I've been reviewing. Uh, it's not quite uh, quite a uh, fest beer style um, look to it, but it's definitely like this deep golden light copper color. Yeah, has about a finger and a half of an off-white head, lots of carbonation. Plays the role, albeit a bit lighter than most. Yeah, oh, this is very, very heavy um, to the uh, bready malt component. Yeah, tons of like slightly toasted, not like overly toasted. A lot of these have like a nice toasted malt, toasted bread, toasted brown bread. This is just like straight up like white bread crust, uh, but like almost toasted white bread crust. Little bit of like a lighter toffee, more so than caramel malt character as well. And a lot of these for me have been having this earthy, herbal, almost spicy hop character. This one has more of a floral hop character, which as far as I know, that's, they should be in like the floral, um, range of uh, characteristics when it comes to the hop nose and, and the hop character in this beer. It should be more floral than anything, but a lot of them for me have been like earthy and herbaceous, but this one has more of a, a flower component to it, a more floral, um, like noble hop presence, which I'm sure, you know, they're using noble hops, clearly. Not, I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty pretty confident. But yeah, it smells pretty good. It smells well balanced. This is probably the least sweet when it comes to the aromatics of the vast majority of the uh, Oktoberfest I've had this year. Um, there have been a couple that have, have had a really nice balance. More of, more of them have been like huge, big, rich malt components to the nose. This one has a nice, I'd say delicate balance between the uh, floral aspect of the hops and then the, you know, toasted bread crust, a little bit of toffee uh, malt character. But yeah, it smells pretty fantastic. Let's get into it. Cheers. That's where it's at. Yeah, this one. Oh man, that finish is really, really good. So I did uh, Great Lakes Oktoberfest earlier this week. And I always thought that was my favorite American born and bred 
Oktoberfest Marathon, and I always thought this was my fa like my favorite German uh, Oktoberfest Marathon. And after having the the uh, the Great Lakes one, it just it was it was kind of a letdown at that point for me. This uh, when I reviewed it, I think it was on Monday, because my memories of it were way better than what I was actually tasting. It uh, it honestly was like middle of the pack, which was very disappointing. This one is as good as I remember it. Man, it has such so. First off, this has. Let me see. Yeah, the body on this is like medium to medium full. At you know five point eight percent, most of these for me, they always talk about full body and so on and so forth. And maybe for the style, they can be considered full body. But in, ge in general, for a beer, most of these have been like in the lower side of medium to higher side of medium. This one's like medium full, straight up medium full body. Really nice. Crisp, clean, refreshing, has a nice slight lingering bitterness. But when I said this finish is nice, you get that like floral pop of the hops. Man, somebody's car sucks. They have a, the floral bite of the hops like on the back of your palate. But then this nice like toasted bread, you know, intertwined with toffee and caramel just passes through and it's just, the finish is fantastic. But really the nose carries over. Light toffee toasted white bread crust maybe a little bit of like a graininess in there but then like halfway through the palate those uh, floral hops hit balances out uh, so it's not too sweet and then has that great finish this has like a straight on semi dry finish it's not overly dry but it's just this beer is delicate like the the entire characteristic of this beer can be summed up by saying it's delicate it's you can crush it i could crush a ton of these at the same time, I don't want to. I want to sit here and enjoy it. Such a good beer. Anyway, this is probably my favorite um, Oktoberfest at this point. After having everything, this is this is this is where it's at for me. So, as far as stylistically, I'm just going to give it a 4.75 out of five as far as um, style goes. I'm sure there's probably something out there better, maybe something I haven't had before. But if there's something better than this. Then there's something better than this, but for me, this is close to where I think the style should be. For me personally, uh, again, I've mentioned this, you know, I don't know how many times so far over the last three weeks. Not one of my favorite styles, but I've appreciated them uh, more and more since I've been reviewing them over the past couple weeks. And I will say this is my favorite of the bunch. I'm going to give this a straight 4.25 out of 5, which is super high for me within the style. I mean, the last time I had this, I think I gave it a 3.5, 3.75. But every time I've seen to have this, it's not me just sitting down with it and enjoying it. It's always, you know, somewhere watching football. Uh, a couple of years ago, I did a blind taste test with uh, Paul over at Pay Brew and Matt of Massive Beer Reviews. And it got a 3.25. We're, again, doing blind taste tests, pal shot and everything. But this is the Oktoberfest for me. This is my favorite. And you know what? It's, it's just a great beer. So um, one more sip and then we'll close it out. That was the Oktoberfest uh, Meriton from Iyengar Brewery. I'm giving it a 4.25 out of 5. If you've had this beer before, I know a lot of you have. Let me know what you guys think about it. Where does this rank for you as far as Oktoberfest? This is definitely my favorite of the ones I've tried uh, since I've gotten a craft beer. So appreciate you guys stopping by for another a beer review. And until the next one, prost.